Hello, so I'm back. I am at my parents' house. I actually meant to record while I was driving a little bit, but I was busy listening to a sermon during my journey, so I forgot. <laughs> and yeah, so here I am. Uh, feels so good to be home. Let's see. Today has been, like, I mean, I've just been, you know, packing to come to my parents' house, so that's pretty much it. Um, I've decided that, you know, during this time, it's best to be productive and focus on what I want out of life, i.e. my residency program. So I have, like, a study schedule that I finally made after so long like I haven't had a study schedule and that's what I'm used to having like a study schedule so I stay on track with my studying but I've just been so down and out lately that I haven't done that so I'm so happy that I was able to make a study schedule that I'm gonna stick to while I'm here and I actually have to um, get to it so this video can't be too long because when I came home well, first this morning I woke up and I actually did some studying. And then, you know, I like took a little nap and, you know, like ate, well, kind of like ate while I was driving, but then like I packed up things and stuff and got things ready and then came here. And um, then I took a nap again. Then I've just kind of been watching some <clears throat> like empowerment videos and yeah um i've also prayed of course this morning i have to pray again in fact there's some prayer points that i haven't mentioned in a while that i need to mention tonight so i'm gonna pray when i get off this video and then i will do studying so that's my plan for the rest of the day. I have to take care of myself. I realize that I'm not drinking water like I should or eating my fruits like I should. So I need to start doing that. I used to like make it like like an actual like ordeal. Like I'd like time how much water I should drink like before noon, how much water I should drink before 5 p.m. Stuff like that and make sure that I'm on track. But I haven't been doing that. Because I've just been so down in the dumps lately. <laughs> so I need to start doing that. And just take care of myself. If anything, just take care of myself. And everything will be okay. You know, I have to live in joy. That's something that I learned from my sermon today. That I have to live in joy. Put everything to God and live in joy. And know that he will work everything out. And it's like... What's the use of like, like, do I want to fight my battles by myself, by me worrying? Or do I want to put my worries onto Jesus? Let God worry about it. Let him figure it out. Let him fight my battles for me. It's a lot easier to live life that way. So sometimes you have to say it over and over and over again in order for you to continue to remember it and act it out and actually live your life that way. So I have to just continue to get on this video just continue to say it like just put your worries onto Jesus he'll work it all out for you and during this time I shouldn't be worrying about anything like all it does is just detriment my health and everything so and I don't want that to happen like what's what would be the point of that things will still be the way it's going to be so why add bad health you know, might as well have good health through it all, you know, and who knows, who knows how, who knows what the future holds, you know, only God knows. So, you know, I should just trust him and know that everything's going to be okay. Let's see, last night, I think I got, so last night, I actually did not take my sleeping medication because I was just so sleepy because I was studying I was doing some questions and I got so sleepy and I was just like, I can just fall asleep right now. So I didn't drink my sleepy time tea 
because well I didn't have to do that because I was already sleepy the point of that is for me to get sleepy it doesn't like keep me asleep so I didn't drink that but then I was like I could take my medicine but I was like no because like I'm so tired like I didn't even feel like drinking water and then reaching over to put the medicine in my mouth swallowing I didn't feel like all any of that because I was just so tired I didn't even put on my raindrops music that I like to put on in the background like I just went to sleep but then I woke up like two hours later like two two and a half hours later then I was like great hmm this is where I was at how many months ago before I started taking sleeping medication because before sleep medication I would sleep for two hours and then I wake up then go back to sleep wake up an hour later go back to sleep wake up an hour later go back to sleep all that so I was like great so what did I do then I I think then I like I started uh, watching this like prayer thing and I was praying along and then I think I did that for like an hour and then I put on my night my raindrops and then went to sleep so oh and my sister got me like eye covers for sleeping you know that like bougie people wear <laughs> And I actually really liked it. So I actually put it on last night and it actually helped, I think. So I put I put on my raindrops and then just put on my eye cover and went to sleep. And I feel like I went to sleep for like, I want to say for three hours. I want to say that, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Because I need to like be writing down the times that I'm waking up and falling back to sleep or whatever. I should probably do that. But then like... I don't know, like, it's in the middle of the night, and all, all I'm trying to do is just try to go back to sleep, so ain't nobody got time to be waking up, or God, ain't nobody got time to be writing things down, because then what if that makes me more awake, I don't know, so, but yeah, I think that's what happened, and what woke me up, actually, was my alarm for my 5.30 prayer session, like, there's, like, this, like, on, uh, a telephone prayer line that starts at 5.30, so when I woke up because of that, I was like, I'm still tired, which is actually a good thing because like it woke me up. Usually I'm up like before five, like maybe 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And I'm like, I can't go back to sleep. So I just kind of stay up until the alarm tells me that it's time to join the line. But this time the alarm actually woke me up and I was like, I can't join. I was like, I'm tired. But actually I joined the line and... I, um, you know, was just thanking the Lord, thanking the Lord, but then I ended up falling asleep <laughs> during the line. So, and then I woke up at 6.15. So I don't know when I fell asleep or anything, but that's when I woke up. And then I stayed for the last 15 minutes of the line. And then, then what did I do? I might have called my mom at that time. My mom called me. One of the two. Mm. But yeah, so that's what happened. Yeah. But yeah, so I want to say I got a total of five, five and a half hours of sleep. I want to say that, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to try to see how I sleep tonight. I'm definitely going to take the sleeping medication and all of that. Because if I can sleep on my own for five hours then I can then the sleeping medication is only gonna make me sleep that much or more so for now I'm gonna just continue taking the medication whatever I can't wait to be off of it though like I'm not trying to get my hopes up and be like yo I slept for five hours by myself dog because like even though you know I slept last night which is good I still my mind was still all over the place and stuff like that so and even the sermon I watched today said that, you know, you can close your eyes and sleep, but like you may not be resting because if your mind isn't settled, then you're not resting. My mind right now isn't settled. Kind of scary. And that can affect my health. So I'm really like purposely trying to do things that will help me health wise. Of course, getting close to the Lord. That's just a life long journey now like that's I see that's what I have just always needed you know you know I've always been a Christian but like I guess I didn't really take my Christianity seriously 
just because, you know, I mean, I knew I loved the Lord. Like, I'd never deny him and whatever. But, like, I didn't pray every day. I wasn't reading my Bible. I wasn't going to church consistently. I don't even know when that happened. Like, that was not me. I got so disappointed in myself when I realized, like, it's been years and I haven't been going to church consistently. Like, are you kidding? I remember in college, I missed, like, a month of church and I felt, like, not good within my spirit. And now here I am just not going to church and it's just normal. And it's like with COVID times, now there's virtual church. So like if I'm working because I'm in residency, if I'm working on Sunday, I can just watch the sermon after work. Like I literally had no excuse, especially the days that I didn't feel like studying. I could be like, okay, you know, what? I don't feel like studying. Instead, I'm going to use a few hours to listen to the word of God period that's like literally all I had to do but it's okay because you know what? I've grown from this whole experience so it's fine I've grown and I really love my growth throughout this whole experience even though I don't like it I look at the parts that I do like about it and that's my growth and I really love myself a lot better now and but the thing is about growing though I like I'm wiser now and then I look back and I'm like oh my gosh like things did not have to end up the way they ended up like why did like, I do certain things and stuff like that because, like, now I know better and everything, but it's okay. It's okay. God still loves me. God is still on my side. He's still on the throne. Amen to that. So it's not like, you know, all hope is lost. Like, no, all hope is not lost. So I'm very grateful. I have so many things to be grateful about. As the new year starts, it's literally new year, new me, like literally, like new year, new E, like um, that's what people call me, by the way, E for short. So it's like for the first time I'm feeling like new year, new me. Like I always, you know, we all heard it before in the past, new year, new me. Every year people say new year, new me. No, this year, 2023 is literally new year new me like new beginnings new life journey new spiritual walk new location soon to memphis Tennessee, dog yo i like get excited thinking about it you know people say oh it's gonna be rough there yes sure but first of all i'm not gonna live in the rough parts i'm gonna live in a safe neighborhood but like it's just gonna be like a whole new environment and I really feel in my heart of hearts that that's where I'm supposed to be. Like, I just feel in my heart that that's where I'm supposed to be. God, God placed me there for a reason. And I'm excited to see what's in store. Like, I shouldn't be there, like, going, like, scared, like, oh, oh. I'm like, Lord, when did I stop trusting you? Like, I've never stopped trusting God. I never, I've never, like, not trusted God. Like, I've always trusted God. Like, throughout my whole medical journey and all the places I moved, I just knew, like, you know what, Lord? You're placing me at this new location for a reason. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to move there. So that's the way I feel now. You know, things happen for a reason. And I needed growth. Like, I really did. So I'm glad I have it. So, yeah, you know, I'm glad I still have my sanity and everything. I'm glad I still have my good health. I'm glad I still have my family, my friends, all of that. Glad I still have my career, you know, in residency. I'm glad that I am moving on with my career, going to fellowship. Yo, what? <sighs> I need to thank God more for that. Like, I really do. Because at one point, I felt I felt ungrateful for that. And I had to be like, Lord, uh, don't get it twisted. I'm still grateful. I'm just really sad right now and really down in the dumps, but I'm really grateful that you let me not to, to fellowship. Like he let me do my interviews during the hardest time of my life. I was interviewing and I still matched. Like, like my mom would tell me, you know, before my interview, she'd be like, you know, you got to go into it confident, you know, like, don't be sad, you know, like, you gotta, you know, talk well, da, da, da. And I told my mom, you know, I'm gonna just try my best. Like right now, this is just a lot for me. I'm gonna try my best. So it was emotionally draining throughout the whole, this whole process. But I went into my interviews, I prayed and I did it and someone liked me and ranked me and I matched, oh my goodness. Uh, like that's how I know God is still on my side. 
no matter how much I think I've done in the past, how terrible of a person I think I am, how many like mistakes I've made and everything, like I know God still has a plan for me. And I know that I'm way too small to ruin my own destiny. So it's all good, you know? Things, you know, may not work out the way we think they're going to work out. But they work out the way God wants them to work out, you know? All things work together for... All to get, all things work together for good for to those who love the Lord. So Romans 8.28, something like that. So, you know, I love Jesus. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> so, <sighs> good times to come. I'm excited to have my joy back, you know, slowly but surely, you know, like my joy is coming back. Like, you know, I have to claim it and receive it and believe it. Because, I mean, if. I'm not walking in joy, then what I'm walking in sorrow, sorrow, grief, regret, sadness, that literally does nothing for anyone. Like joy is a choice. You can choose, even though you're going through something, just choose to be happy, feel crazy and be like, you know what? This is a sucky moment and sucky event, but F it. Let me just be a crazy person and smile and laugh and be joyous anyway. And just be joyous knowing things are going to be okay. God's going to work it out. That's it. Even if you think like, oh, like, how can you be joyous? Whatever. Just do something crazy and just be joyous anyway. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> so, yeah. Just always live in joy. Try to live in joy. So. <sighs> That's all I really had to say. I guess I will check you guys later. Plus, my video timer is about to be run out. So, might as well end it here. Peace.